Hey guys, I got another interview question for you. So, what is an index? Now, an index is a pointer to data in the table. So, imagine this. Let's just say you have a paper to write and you have to go to the library and you have to look for this book so that you can complete your paper. So, you go to the library and you begin searching for the book that you're looking for. And all of a sudden, you find it. And the book looks something like this. Or even worse, the book looks something like this. Now, instead of flipping through each page of that particular book to find the information that you're looking for, there are tools that are set in place that allows us to find information quickly. And those things are called indexes. Indexes, as you can see here, are used to help us quickly retrieve data. And I'm sure you guys have seen these indexes before in many books that you've read. Now, as you can see here, you look up a particular topic in the index and then it redirects you to a page where you can find more information about that particular topic. This is another form of indexes. As you can see here, we have a dictionary and there's an index that is created on the word. And if you're looking up a definition of the word, due to the fact that dictionaries are in order, it helps you find that information a whole lot quicker. It's always good to remember that real life indexes are the same as table indexes. They allow quick data retrieval. Now another thing I want to talk about are the two types of indexes. We have a clustered index and then we have a non-clustered index. A clustered index is the same as a dictionary, whereas the clustered index is created on the words. So in order to find information within the dictionary, you would have to know the words and obviously you would have to know um, where to look in the dictionary for that particular word. And since, as I said before, dictionaries are in order, it makes it a whole lot easier to find. Another thing is that clustered indexes can, you can only have one clustered index per table. Now, that brings me to non-clustered index. A non-clustered index, for example, is like a table of contents or an index of a book. And it's set up in the structure of a data grid. Another thing is that there can be one or more non-clustered indexes per table. So, first of all, let's start, about, let's start off with how to create a clustered index. Now, this is the syntax that you would use to go about creating a clustered index. So, we would use the word create, we would use the keyword cluster, and then index, and then we would um, create a name for that index on a particular table and the column name that we want to create that index on. So this example that I have here mimics the example of a dictionary. So we have this table called words and there are so many words in the English language and in order to keep track of what each word means you know it's very hard to keep track of that without some sort of index attached to that particular word because just imagine if we had dictionaries and the words were not in order and we want to find a definition of a particular word it would be extraordinarily hard to find so that's why we have these things that are called indexes which are used to or well actually clustered indexes which are used to order these words so that it makes life a whole lot easier for us so this is how i would create an index i would go create a clustered index then word underscore index on words and then I'll create an index on the word and basically once I do that the words will be sorted in order in order for quicker retrieval so um, you, you just you just have to imagine that so let's just say this words table here, okay? It can also be called like dictionary table as well. And imagine that if this dictionary table or words table did not have an index, so there is no order, and pretty much you wouldn't be able to retrieve data quicker. So when you're dealing with the database and you're adding an index, a clustered index is simply going to sort these records 
based on a particular column of this of a table. All right. So now let's talk about non clustered indexes. In order to create those, the only thing that you have to do is to just remove that cluster keyword. Um, as compared to the slide that I just showed you, you just would remove that clustered keyword and you would go create index, then the index name on table name and then column name. It's pretty much the same. The only thing that's removed is that clustered keyword that we had here before. All right, so this is an example of a non-cluster index. So let's say you go to the library and you go to the library catalog, you type in the name of a book and you don't, first of all, you, you, know, you need to know where a book is in the library. You wanna look for a book, but there's so many places in the library that you can look for a particular book. So in order to find that book, what you need is this thing that is called um, uh, um, call reference, which is something that links you to that book's location in the library. So as you know, if you've been to the libraries, they have different sections that you can look in in order to find books. The fiction section, nonfiction section, children section, um, you know, research section. So there are different sections in the library that you would have to look for a, partic a particular book. So let's just say you go to the library catalog, you type in the name of the book and that right there, when you type in the name of the book, it gives you a call reference number. And that call reference number is going to be associated with an index. So just imagine if there are so many books in the library and there was no call reference number. And that call reference number would be the index. If there's no call reference number, you would have to go through the entire library where the books are in random order and you don't know where to look, you know, because the books are in random order. You have to go one by one. The books are not sorted. They don't have any call reference number. And, they, and you just go into the library, look for a book. Librarian doesn't know where it, where it is. And she just says, good luck. And I'm spending the whole day there looking for a book. So um, this is an example of non-clustered indexes. You search for a book, you have the call reference number, and then that call reference number is in a location and this location here is and what I've done here is created a book index and this is how you go about creating it create index book index on book and then I passed in two columns from this book table here call reference as well as the book title so once I create the index on these particular books, um, as you can see here, this book titled A Cat in a Hat has a call reference number of children underscore Seuss. So you would have to go to that particular section, the children section, and look under the Arthur Seuss in order to find that particular book. And that's how non-clustered indexes work. Now this is the end of the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something here. And also subscribe. And see you in the next one.